Today I'll be explaining Backrooms level negative 404, also known as when the music stops. Now this one is very famous and it's been very popular amongst the fans of the Backrooms and I'm actually pretty surprised they hadn't gone over it yet. But I am doing it today, and you're definitely not going to want to visit this level in the lore. And if for some reason you're on it, when the music stops playing, you need to run and hide. Because they're probably going to find you. If that sounds cool at all, leave a like on this video. And without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? Negative 404 is the negative 405th level of the backrooms, and it's been given a class 5 difficulty rating due to it being unsafe and unstable with strange entity properties as well as strange musical effects. Both of those things play a huge role in this level. The level looks to take place inside of a very nicely decorated, brightly colored Victorian era house. There are many different areas in this house, and each of them play a specific role in this level. I'll get into each individual place later, but those areas are the following. There's a master bedroom, there are five identical spare bedrooms, there's a kitchen, a dining room, a bathroom, a living room, a full furnished basement, a sunroom, and the hallways that connect all of them. All of those different rooms have different properties and effects that I will get into in a second. But first, let me tell you what happens when you get sent to this level. When you wake up here, you could be in or outside of any of those rooms I just mentioned. The level itself is always in a state of mid-morning, so there's always going to be sun shining through the windows, and there's no day or night cycle, so it never gets dark. To be honest, a lot of people think this level is safe when they first get sent here because the decorations are cozy, it just seems like a house, the temperature is moderate, there's light from outside, there is classical music playing off in the distance, it just seems like a really nice house, like a bed and breakfast or something. Outside of the windows in the house, there is nothing to explore. It's kind of just this white void for as far as you can see, but that does provide ample lighting for the inside. However, if you watched my Backrooms Rules video, then you know never to approach windows at all, especially ones that you see inside of houses and levels, because you might become a victim of that window. The house itself is unique in that there are posted rules on pieces of paper laying around on the walls and on the tables. These rules are very, very important to follow if you don't want to end up dead. If you don't follow the rules at all, you probably won't make it out of the level, so it is pivotal that you understand and follow them. The main house rule that pertains to this video is that whenever you're in this level and the music that you hear off in the distance stops playing, you need to hide instantly. Now, I just mentioned that there is this classical music melody playing off in the distance throughout the halls and rooms here, and that music will randomly stop playing abruptly without warning. After that happens, you'll have just 20 to 30 seconds to hide before it comes out. Or more specifically, before they come out. Now luckily for you all, each of these rooms has their own protocol for hiding and running away from them. And I'll be getting into all that right now. To survive the master bedroom, you'll walk inside of it and you'll notice that the door will instantly slam itself behind you. Once this door slams, you will need to run to the closest corner that you see of the room and stare into that corner, and no matter what you do, do not turn around, do not look behind you. One of them resides inside of this room, and after you get into the corner and start staring at the corner, whatever it is will examine you from behind. It might sniff your hair, it might breathe on your neck, it might lick your ear. Whatever happens, whatever you feel, do not turn around. Just continue staring straight at the corner, at the wall, and it will go away eventually. After a few minutes of staring and going through whatever it's doing to you, the entity will then retreat back to under the bed to its lair or wherever it lives under there. Now, once you survive all that, there are some other rules that you're going to want to follow as well for inside of the master bedroom. Do not get on the bed because it, whatever it is, lives underneath it and it doesn't like when you get on it. Always leave the curtains on inside of this room as well and leave them open, that way there's light shining in. And do not look at your own reflection in the mirror inside the master bedroom because whatever is inside the mirror looking back is not you. But once you follow all those rules and once it retreats under the bed, you can then leave and go back out to explore the level. If you find yourself in any of the spare bedrooms on this level, there are five of them, you'll notice how odd they are right off the bat. 
Most of these spare rooms furniture is extremely large. It's way bigger than a normal person's furniture would be, which indicates that a large entity or person lives there. It's advised to not enter these spare rooms at all if you can help it, especially if their doors are closed. Never open a spare bedroom's door on this level. It doesn't like it. Of course it doesn't like it. It doesn't like anything. But if you do walk into a room, you'll notice that its furniture's huge, and you'll notice that it just is very weird. The decorations are pretty normal, but just know that if you do walk in, you need to just slowly back out. The rules for surviving these spare bedrooms and when the music stops here is pretty simple. If you walk into one of the rooms and you see catnip anywhere on the bed, on the table, do not investigate further and just walk away. If the music stops playing while you're in a spare bedroom, you're in the most dangerous part of the level already, so uh, good luck with what's about to come and hurt you. You're in the most dangerous place on the level already, and the music stopping uh, just makes it worse. So, good luck. You're gonna need it. If you find yourself in the kitchen of this house, do not drink from the sink at all, and that's because liquid pain seems to flow out of its faucet. Do your best not to touch any of the plates here either, because you don't want to drop and break anything at all. If you walk inside the kitchen door, there's a chance that the door will slam behind you. If the door does indeed slam behind you, the level will increase its temperature inside of the kitchen, and it'll begin to heat up and essentially uh, cook you like an oven. If you're inside the kitchen when the music stops playing, the only way you can survive is by climbing on top of the counter, closing your eyes, and not opening them until it passes. You'll know when it passes when all the noises stop, and you'll be able to get off the counter and walk away. If you're in the bathroom on this level, do not drink the sink water either, it's liquid pain, and if the mirror inside the bathroom is cracked, do not touch it. If the music stops playing when you're inside the bathroom, you need to get inside the bathtub and close your eyes and do not move. He will stare at you the entire time that you're in the bathtub, but he will not hurt you, and uh, just don't look at him, and you'll be okay. If you're in the living room, or if you find yourself walking into the living room, congratulations, you finally found one of the better areas here. There's a couch you can sit on, and there's books you can read. If blood leaks out of the couch when you sit down, that means you'll probably not survive very long. If you're inside the living room when the music stops playing on this level, you need to sit on the couch, pick up a book, turn to a random page, and start reading whatever it is. No matter what appears behind you, do not turn around, do not look it in its eyes. It doesn't like that at all. Just stare at the book you have in your hands as long as you can, and it'll eventually go away. There's another room called the study here, which is kind of just like an office, and if you walk inside the study or if you're exploring inside of it, just don't touch anything here, and don't look at the windows. If you're inside this part when the music stops, go to the desk, fold your arms, and close your eyes. Sit inside the chair with your arms crossed and your eyes closed for as long as you can, because they're in here as well, and one will likely begin to investigate you, similarly to the other parts of the level where they investigate you. Your ear might get sniffed, your hair might get stroked, there might be something laughing, just whatever it is, do not open your eyes at all. They will leave after about 20 minutes. Now, if you thought all those were bad, the last two rooms are even worse. So congratulations for making it this far. The basement and the sunroom are areas that should be avoided in this house at all costs. I mean, you should avoid the level, but specifically the basement and the sunroom. If you get to the basement, it is said that you have no longer than 10 seconds to get out. If you do not get out in those 10 seconds, you'll be trapped for about 30 minutes in this furnished basement which means you have to survive for 30 minutes. If you're trapped, do not investigate any of the TVs or the couch or the tables or any pictures down here. And if for some reason you're in the basement when the music stops playing, hide in the cushions that you see in the couch. Dive between them and dig yourself down. But whatever you do, do not search for loose change inside of those cushions because you will not be seen again if you do. But after about 20 minutes, it'll leave you and you can get out of the cushions and walk back upstairs and the door will be unlocked. Finally, the sunroom area. Now, this part of the page simply says, do not enter this room, which is easy enough, and you should follow that. But if for some reason you went into the sunroom, maybe you're dumb, maybe you just wanna 100% complete the back rooms, I don't know, you'll experience a very painful ending. Because when you cross into the threshold of the sunroom, the light from the outside will increase into this blinding white light, and you'll be absorbed into it and never be seen again. This is the only place where the creatures that 
lurk here won't even touch you because the light does all the work for them. So those were all of the areas that you can explore inside of this giant house. Each one of them, of course, having those different properties and different methods of survival. And if you follow all the rules I mentioned, you should be able to make it out of each room. The music that I kept mentioning it's playing is what I said. It's that soft, classical music, kind of playing in an ambient volume. No one knows who controls the music, no one has heard the song that's playing, and it's not really known why it stops or why it triggers them to come out when it stops. But if you follow those rules of what I said to do when the music stops, you should be able to be okay. Maybe. Don't, don't quote me on that. But the question that looms over all is what exactly are these entities that lurk here? The article pretty much tells us nothing about them, and it only refers to them as they, which likely means there's multiple instances of whatever they are. This is backed up by the fact that the house is so big, but these things live in each room. There's probably multiple of them. Now, as for what they actually are, we can really only speculate and take our best guess because there's no information about them on the page. They're known to be pretty large, they're known to communicate and approach humans and inspect them. Like I said, they might lick you or sniff you or touch you and i'm also going to assume they blend in very well to the shadows because in the master bedroom that one lives under the bed so i'm just going to assume that they are tall skinny humanoid type entities that are either made out of shadows or blend into shadows well they're very sentient because they choose when to attack and they're also extremely terrifying for people that encounter them because as i said multiple times you have to close your eyes and not even look at them so whatever these are, they are so horrific that our natural human response is just to be terrified to be in the same room as them. Because you can feel the fear even if your eyes are closed. They are some sort of morbid human shadow that tortures humans for fun. Nice! The last section of the level is titled Nuances. And it simply says, you are being timed, but for how long is not disclosed to you. Following the hiding protocol for any room does not guarantee your safety. And finally, trapping you in the sunroom is the goal, but sometimes they cannot wait or help themselves. So that pretty much tells you that you're screwed if you get sent to this level. Because even the rules and regulations and whatever and the protocols, they might not even help you. To enter this level, you can no clip through a wall on level 17 to be sent here. And you can also just get sent here by accident, which is the most dangerous part of it. And if you want to leave, there's actually a pretty big list of exits. All of them seem to be strange though, in the fact that they mainly happen accidentally. Like you can trip and fall and be sent to level 39, or you can crawl under a cabinet to be sent to level negative 18. These exits are not guaranteed to work, and it could just trap you even further in the level. But just be sure, whatever you do, if you didn't hear anything else in this video, if you just tune me out, make sure you start hiding and close your eyes when the music stops playing on this level. Since it seems like whatever they are, come out when that happens. That's it for the video. Hopefully you did enjoy. This one was definitely more creepy, more disturbing, more of the horror style of the backrooms level. So if you enjoy horror backrooms levels, leave a like on this one. Thank you for watching to the end. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. And um, that's all I got to say. Make sure you tell somebody you love them because life's too short not to. And with all that said, I'll end off the video here. Bye-bye.